dear students now we will do exercise 3b question number 11 find the product and match through diagram a part is one fifth of two third one fifth is first fraction two third is the second fraction first we will draw the second fraction which is two third and then we will draw this full one fifth of two third okay for this we have to draw two boxes of the same size okay then look at the denominator it is three we have to cut it into three parts but in horizontal pattern this you have to remember that you have to cut it into three parts but in horizontal pattern okay and then you will color only two parts Only two parts. Two third means out of three, only two parts. This is two third out of three two parts. Now we will uh, draw this diagram one fifth of two third. Look at the denominators. Look at the denominator of this second fraction, which is three. We have to cut this box into three parts, but in a horizontal pattern. This is horizontal pattern this is called horizontal cutting now look at the denominator of first fraction which is 5 and we will cut it into we will cut this box into five parts but in vertical pattern vertically we will cut it into five parts two parts three parts Four and five parts okay now we will multiply the numerators one times two gives us two and five times three gives us 15 we have to color only two parts now find we will read the question find the product and match through diagram now this is the product 2 upon 15 is the product and this product is matching with the diagram how because denominator is 15 these small boxes are 15 and only two are colored 2 out of 15 two boxes are colored out of 15 so this uh, diagram is matching with the product. Now B part is one sixth of four fifth. First fraction is one sixth, second is four fifth. First we will draw four fifth and then we will draw one sixth of four fifth. 
just like this first part. Let's start drawing. Okay, first we have to draw this second fraction, which is four fifth. This here. And the, both the boxes should be of the same size. Okay, this box is for four fifth, and this is for one sixth of four fifth. Okay, so look at the denominator, it is five. We have to cut it into five parts, but remember with which pattern? Horizontal. I have cut it into five parts because the denominator is five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now the numerator is five. We have to color four parts. First part. Second part. Third part, and this is the fourth part, four fifth. This diagram is showing four fifth. Now let's do one sixth of four fifth. Look at the denominator of second fraction, which is four fifth. Four fifth is second fraction. First is one sixth. Uh, we will divide it into five parts horizontally. Two, three, four, and five. I have cut it into five parts horizontally. Now I will cut it into six part, but parts vertically. This is called vertical cutting, like this. These are six parts. I have cut this box into six parts vertically. Now, one multiply the numerators. One times four gives us four. So we will color its four parts. Okay, now we will multiply to check the diagram. One times four gives us four, and six times five gives us 30. Now, to match through diagram this product, we have to match the product with the diagram. Look, four out of 30 means that four boxes are colored. And 30 means these total number of boxes are 30. Let's do C part. One third of three fifth. First, we have to draw three fifth, which is the second fraction. I need two boxes of exactly same size. Students, please use your scales. Okay. Three fifth means out of five, I have to color three parts. But out of five means I have to cut this box into 
five parts but in which pattern always we have to cut the second fraction the denominator of second fraction we have to cut it in horizontal pattern this is i have cut it into five parts now i will color its three parts second it means that three fifth out of five three parts are colored now let's do this one we have to look at the two fractions look at the denominator of second fraction which is three fifth we have to cut this box into five parts but in which pattern horizontal pattern Okay, I have cut it into five parts in horizontal pattern. Now look at the denominator of first fraction, which is three. I have to cut it into three part, parts vertically like this. This is called vertical cutting. Now to know uh, how many parts should be colored, I have to multiply the numerators. One times three gives us three. So we have to color only three parts we will color only three parts students This is the third part this is the third part now one third of three fifth we will multiply the numerators one times three gives us three and three times five gives us 15 three fifteenth means that these are three out of these total are 15 boxes and out of 15 only three boxes are colored now let's do this d part one eighth of two third first we have to draw two third then we have to draw one eighth of two third okay to draw two third first we have to draw two boxes of exactly same size using pencil students you will use your pencil okay this is one box and this is the other box the sizes of both the boxes should be exactly equal same okay two-third means we have to divide it into three parts but we have to divide it horizontally and we have to color only two parts i will color two parts
Okay, two parts are colored. Two third means out of three two parts are colored. Now let's do this one. One eighth of two third. First look at the second fraction. Its denominator is three. We have to cut it into three parts. But in which pattern? We have to cut it horizontally. This is horizontal cutting. Okay, now I need to look at the denominator of first fraction, which is eight. I have to cut it vertically into eight parts. Okay. These are four parts. Okay. These are four parts. I will cut each part into two and it will give me eight parts. I have cut it vertically into eight parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, good. Now I'll multiply the numerators. One times two gives us two. So I have to multiply it. I have to color only two parts. First part and the second part. Now let's check our product and let's match it with our diagram. Okay, when we will multiply the numerators, one times one times two gives us two. This is product of the numerators. And eight times three gives us twenty-four. Okay, let's match it with our diagram. Twenty-four means these are total twenty-four boxes, and out of twenty-four, only two boxes are colored. 